Hello everyone, I am Debbie D. Martini, and it's time for Let's Talk Shop. Uh, today I'm going to actually try not to get too much into politics, but inevitably with medicine and especially with thermography, it is a little bit unavoidable. Uh, what I want to talk a little bit about is the process by which the medical community went about choosing their preferred method of breast screenings. Um, this would date back into the early 70s. Um, there were clinical trials done. They studied a variety of imaging technologies, um, thermography being one, mammography, ultrasound, and I'm sure there were, were multiple others. But in essence, what a clinical trial does is it looks at a group of individuals over a period of time. Uh, in this particular case, the study was done over five years. And what, what kind of happened is that thermography would show uh, temperature differentials, increases in temperature, inflammation in the breast tissue. Uh, but there were other tests used to confirm or refute whether or not those were showing up. Uh, and so in essence what happened is the thermography was showing that there was abnormality in the breast tissue, but it couldn't be correlated by another test, so nothing else could back it up, so to speak. So what happened was they threw out thermography as a acceptable method of imaging. Interestingly enough, of course we all know now, they went with mammography, which is a radiation uh, x-ray type of screening that looks for the actual tumor. Thermography looks at physiological function and metabolic process, so it's a different type of test. It looks for the activity associated with a tumor or uh, breast disease. So interesting finding is that five years later, the clinical trial ended, and in, if you add about three to five years onto that, so eight to ten years out from the initial onset of the clinical trial, almost all the women that had abnormal thermal images did in fact develop breast cancers in those exact areas. Unfortunately, because they couldn't be confirmed by other tests during the clinical trial, thermography was eliminated as the go-to screening, uh, which is why we see things like mammogram. Um, is that to say that mammography is better? No, it's a different type of test. I think that adjunctively they should be used, meaning they should be used together. Uh, if we add thermography to a woman's normal health screenings and breast exams uh, schedule, we will increase the likelihood of catching cancer early by 97%. Additionally, women who add thermography to their regular health screenings will also have a 61% increase in their survival rate. Uh, the reason for that is, again, we are catching things much earlier. The reason that I bring this up is one of the biggest questions I get, probably more often than anything else, is, is thermography covered by my insurance company? And the answer to that question right now is most cases no. Uh, it will depend obviously on your individual health plan. I know that there are a few companies out there that do cover thermography or will give you a portion of um, what you paid back in a reimbursement. Um, but the reason that that is all an issue uh, basically has to do with Medicare. Uh, and I won't get into the politics of Western medicine and insurance companies. I think most of us kind of have a feel for that already. Um, it's, it's, it's about making money. And so um, they went with mammography and ultrasound and some of these other tests for breast screenings. And those are covered by your insurance company. And so those are the things that they continue um, to use to support all of the funding that and, and investment that they did in those big expensive pieces of equipment. So um, thermography, I think, gets overlooked for that reason. Um, I would like to point out, though, that interestingly enough, you know, one of the things that the insurance industry says is that, well, we, you know, we don't consider thermography something that we cover under insurance because it's not independently diagnostic. Uh, well, I'm going to throw this out there. Neither is a mammogram. You cannot diagnose cancer by using a mammogram. You have to use a biopsy. That's the only way to confirm whether or not something that looks suspicious is malignant or not. Um, so again, just, just food for thought. Politics plays a role in everything we do. And certainly don't let the 
non-coverage by your insurance company stand in the way of having a thermography scan done. Uh, it's extremely beneficial. We can catch breast cancers in particular up to eight to 10 years before a mammogram will show an abnormality. Uh, and we do this without radiating the patient. There's no squashing, there's no pain. So it's super safe, very effective. And uh, we also do any, anywhere in the body. If you look at my website, www.thermalsc.com, there's a lot of information there. Uh, I urge you to check it out, do your research. You don't have to take my word for it, um, but interesting food for thought nonetheless. Keep the questions coming. I welcome them. That's a, that was a great one, and it is one that I see a lot. Uh, so hopefully I answered that for you. Um, again, my name is Debbie Demartini with Thermal Body Scan in Santa Cruz, and we are located downtown, and I look forward to talking to you next week. Thanks so much.